So today I came up with a really, I think, nice idea for the kickboxing fans out there and the people that say um, that they hate the ground game. Well, this video is for you because we're literally nullifying the ground game system just for these people. So we're going to have Israel Adesanya, a high level kickboxer, no ground game, you know, against Gokan the Rebel Saki, a former glory kick, uh, kickboxer, yeah, former champion and a legend of the sport kickboxing, going to put those guys against each other, see how they will perform, it will be a really interesting one. I mean, not that much, just because Gokan Saki's only strength is his striking. His health, I think, it's 3.5. Um, and of course, going to keep it as traditional as possible and as close to kickboxing. So, of course, the kickboxing rounds and the minutes. Just keep it as close. Thank God EA has that. These these three are cool as fuck. So I've got T-Mobile in going to go with Kumite because it has those ropes. Uh, it's still an octagon, but it has the ropes, which kind of reminds you of a kickboxing ring. Going to have it at hard because I mean, just send the last video, last commentary video, pro and legendary are insane. The, these game modes, no, not game modes, these difficulties are just dumb. In Legendary, um, uh, Khabib can shoot takedown at someone who has the worst takedown defense, and the takedown will still get stuffed because the CPU is just so good. It literally knows everything. So we're going to keep it on hard, simple, accelerated clock. And the rest are just gameplay stuff. I must find the styles. Very corner AI style. Dustin Poirier. Now we're going to put it at Israel Adesanya. I mean, yeah, we found Gokan Saki first. Red corner is going to be Gokan. He's probably on A Adesanya. I'm dumbed. Like this thing that they introduced in UFC 4, that actually, without telling anyone about it, that feature, it's just a bit dumb, but it's nice since you can set up your AI, just not to a AI, AI, poor AI is try harden. So you have kickboxing rounds, awesome. Nope. So in the red corner, we said it is. Gokan Saki. Let's take a look at their stats. I mean, he's got five perks, which I I say that they're championship perks because if you see most champions have four or uh, five perks, excuse me. So have five perks, and in Korea, if you see, you have to become a UFC champion to get the five perks. So same championship perks, you know. It's got crazy legs, it's got steel checks, it's got frontal assault, tag one and fast hands. It's just very good. He's very underrated to be honest. He's three and a half stars, he's a monster. I mean only the striking. If you can be untouchable as a fighter, you should use Gokan Saki, who give you a lot of points in ranked. But I mean the ground game. If somebody takes you down, you're you're destroyed. Except if if you actually manage to submit someone to Gokan Saki, send it to me. Cause it, it, it's just it will be so hard. Everything is at eighty. His submissions are eighty, and his ground game overall is one point five stars. It's just insane. And his health stats are not good. 
knowing that the guy was a glory legend, the hell starts unjustified. I mean, he has been knocked out by nobodies. As people say, I don't think that someone in the UFC is a nobody, but yeah. And yeah, his his top moves are great. He's got f f five star boxing combinations. Level four body roundhouse, level four calf kick, level four kickboxing combinations and Muay Thai combinations. Just very good overall. And yeah. Where is Israel? I mean yeah. He's got all those OP perks. Five star striking. Look at him. 3.5 star striking, like, uh, grappling, excuse me. If the 3.5 stars in grappling is Golkan Saki's overall. So, like, just really unfair to do that, but it's it's a clash of legends, kickboxing legends. I mean, you can't tell that Izzy's a legend in kickboxing, but he's one of the greatest kickboxers, I think. I mean, I would like to see a kickboxing game in the future. It'll be very great to see a kickboxing game in the future. But yeah, the Kumite is just perfectly suited for Israel Adesanya. I mean, in the release trailer, of course, you had Israel Adesanya in the Kumite. Just built for him. Literally built for him. Those Muay Thai shorts. Such a great fighter. Are you ready? Kickboxer, basically. Tigo a bit destroyed boy. Jan Blachowicz. He found out his... His weakness. Marvin Vittor tried to expose it, but he couldn't. Fight. But yeah, let's go. Gokan Saki vs. Israel Adesanya. One of the dumbest fights. I've ever thought of. I mean, Gokan Saki's doing some damage. Double jab misses for Asanya. He's got the combo. Oh, and he stuns him. How? And he knocks him down in the first minute of the fight. Not even first minute. He stuns him and knocks him. And another stun by Gokan Saki with that. Oh my goodness. Spinning back fist to drop him right into the top mount. If Izzy can recover, the Gokan Saki is a bit of trouble because 1.5 uh, stars of grappling is not good. Doesn't work. Tries to get up. Of course, he will try to get up. And he actually manages to get up. Izzy must kick up. Oh, nice spinning back fist by Izzy. But as. Let's go Kansaki, he's been a great fist. He, he doesn't compare right here. Nice combo, that was a Muay Thai combo. That lead up got followed by the lead hook is a very nice combo. This is the Sony is in a huge head health disadvantage against Go Kansaki. Kansaki was able to land and knock him down twice in a round. Nice combo by Easy. Right back to Orthodox hands and drops him. I mean, it was like. It's a, it was a trip more. But yeah. I actually like. They're kind of annoying, but. These like trips. That they don't look like trips. I don't think that they might look like trips. But they're nice. They're very nice. So, oh my god, like Gokan Saki destroyed Arasani in this round. Really unusual, to be honest. I didn't expect it. I expected Izzy to come out guns blazing. I mean, not guns blazing, he's a patient fight overall, but to be able to counter Gokan very easily. If Gokan Saki actually manages to beat Arasani, I'm literally going to not play Adesanya anymore. Oh, and a nice overhand hurts Gokan. Adesanya. Nice leg kick. And another one misses by Adesanya there. Kind 
kind of looking at each other. Nice hook. And let's not forget that Gokan Saki switch stands right here. He's at 80. So. Oh! And a head kick. He's destroying Arasanya. And they're looking at each other again. Oh. Oh. Arasanya trying to go back and recover. His head health is low. Nice leg kick. After he faked that lazy roundhouse kick to the head. Oh, leg kick checked by Arasanya. Nice jabs. Oh. Nice jabs by Izzy though. He, he must, he must use his reach advantage. Because... Gokan Saki is a pressure fighter and that uses Dutch kickboxing. Dutch kickboxing against someone like Arasanya won't work very easily. The game plan of Dutch kick. Oh, and a nice hit kick by Arasanya drops him. Right at the end of the round. As I said, someone who uses Dutch kickboxing style won't be very good and very effective against someone like. Arasanya, the reach, the kicks that are fast, and the head movement of Arasanya will be able to withstand all that pressure of a Dutch kickboxer like Alistair Overeem, you know. I don't think that. I, I'm not saying that Arasanya could win against Alistair Overeem by any chance. No, not saying that. Saying that he's long and he can counter that Dutch kickboxing style and that's why he's better Th I think that that's one of the reasons that Gokan Saki found himself on the bottom and Israel Adesanya is on the top of the middleweight division very patient Adesanya miss making Gokan Saki miss and not even paying back the shots, but patience. Patience is key. Both men are missing in this round. No, nobody has been hurt. And a nice straight and lead hook for Gokan Saki. Nice knee by the taller fighter. These knees hurt. If you're tall enough, you can put your whole body in it. Like lean backwards. Oh, and nice jumping back kick. Arasanya, another straight, th that reach advantage is a huge problem. Easy's reach is like very bad for. Oh, and a nice combo by Izzy. Still doesn't hurt Gokan Saki there. He's got a good chin on him. Gokan Saki trying to pressure. Nice slip by Gokan. Punishes him with a jab straight and hurts him. Pushes him to the ropes. Nice spinning back fist, just like the first round. Drops him in the end of the round. What a great round. What a great fight. Oh my god. That spinning back fist. The Gokans. Yeah. These Dutch kickboxers don't play around. Are you ready? I mean, yeah, ready? Gokan Saki is Turkish, but he's living in the Netherlands. He's trying to over there. Nice front kick. Nice uppercut. Powerful one. Oh. Now Saki is trying to play footsies with Arasanya. That, that's how Marshall Mike calls it. Trying to go in and out, and a nice head kick by Arasanya. That looked like a head kick that landed against Polo Costa. For Arasanya, where he like pulled out his hand and then threw that rear head kick out of the southpaw stance. Very, very similar. Gokan Saki is doing it. Oh! 
What a great shot by Adesanya. Pushing Gokansaki backwards. Trying to nullify his style. But they're back in the center of the ring, let's say. Oh, nice check. Those steel checks perk. Has been working very good for him in that right now. Just at its best. It's a very great way to counter Arasanya's leggings like that. Pick someone with that kind of perk. Oh, and he knocks him out with a huge overhand right. I did not expect that. I absolutely did not expect that. Gokan Saki overcame the occasion and knocked out, knocked the fuck out of Israel Adesanya. Look at that overhand. Overhand followed by a lead head kick. Oh my god. That was brutal. He went full on, whole body weight on it. It kind of reminded me like Michael Bisping versus Dan Henderson won. Let's take a look at the fight statistics real quick. Let's see who actually won in the scorecards. Gokan Saki, uh, the whole first round was all Gokan Saki to be honest. Yeah. Israel Adesanya was the second round, but he stunned him. Gokan Saki stunned him. Both stunned each other. Third round, because the game, the game scoring is decided on damage. Yeah, the game would have given it to Gokan Saki because of the stun and the knockdown. Fourth round is probably Izzy's. And yeah, it's when you gotta stop though. <laughs> yeah. It, it was good though. Only one leg hand event, but he stunned and got knocked, uh, knocked down Gokan Saki. Landed more strikes. And yeah, 29-27 uh, from those three rounds, Gokan won. If it was a three-round fight, Gokan would have won by the by decision. It's extraordinary. How did, how did that even happen? To be honest, I'm just amazed. Like, if you're someone that doesn't get touched a lot on the feet. Or knows how to play very well, has great takedown defense, and doesn't get get touched off in the feet and likes using shorter fighters. Gokan Saki is for you. He's got kicks for days. He's got cardio, not that good, but yeah, his power backs it up. His power backs it up a lot in the level of his strikes. He's got very good combos. Just like you saw in the finish, he threw. Where would you see that? Throwing an overhand and then following up by a lead head kick. Where do you see that? Like, awesome, awesome finish by Gokan Saki. I think it would go like that on real life, in real life, but. Yeah, it's, it's a game. It's a game you never know. I'm just amazed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And peace.